What is up guys? Welcome back to AI on Crypto. Today we are going to do a video on the Conflux Network. If you're not familiar with the Conflux Network, it is a massive global blockchain project that is really building towards mass adoption globally. They have huge communities in Asia, Africa, Europe, and the Americas, but they focus on the Asian markets. They're making some very big moves. They recently had an upgrade to their blockchain. They're really getting into the metaverse in Asia, which is actually going to be booming in the next five to 10 years. And they're a blockchain that I think people should have their eye on. Not only are they massive layer one blockchain with all kinds of smart contract capability, but they're also Ethereum compatible with Ethereum layer two solutions so that you can actually do DeFi and all types of things with Ethereum assets on the Conflux Network layer two gas free. It's a very cool blockchain, guys, and we're gonna get into some recent updates they've had. And I'm also going to tell you about their grant program. If you're a developer or artist looking to get onto the blockchain, looking for a way to start a project that you have in your mind, there's an awesome grant program that you can apply for that we're gonna discuss here on this video. So get ready, we're gonna dive in right now. This is AI on Crypto. On this channel, we talk about cryptocurrency prices and trends, altcoin gems, and all the things on the blockchain that fill our bags to the max, and we stay far away from Rec City. We make daily cryptocurrency content covering NFTs, play to earn blockchain gaming, DeFi, and more. So if you're looking for that kind of content, please subscribe to the channel, tap that bell so you don't miss future videos, and welcome to the community. Now, of course, I'm not a financial advisor. Do your own research before making any major decisions. All right, guys, so what's the Conflux Network? They are a blockchain that enables creators, communities, and markets to connect across borders and protocols. They've recently had some very big upgrades to make them even more interoperable with other chains than they already were. It was called the Hydra Upgrade. But what really is exciting me, guys, is that they are setting themselves up to be a big factor in the future of the metaverse in asia and through that as all over the world as well all right guys i want to take you to this article by the financial times it's talking about how the chinese state is pumping money into the metaverse like crazy i will link this in the description below chinese local governments and state-backed entities are pumping money into companies involved in creating the so-called metaverse as the country competes to become the global center of this new digital craze. On Wednesday, China's newly formed Metaverse Industry Committee announced that 17 companies had been included in this organization to promote the healthy, orderly, and sustainable development of the Metaverse. The committee, established in October by the state-owned telecoms company China Mobile, aims for companies to discuss the new rules, policies, and projects. It is one of the many initiatives involving state-backed groups and local officials that are also seeking stakes in metaverse companies amid an investment frenzy. I will link this article in the description below, guys. If you want to continue reading it, check it out. But basically, I just wanted to mention it because the metaverse is going to be big all over the globe, and China knows it. They are not going to let their economy not take advantage of this new boom that is to come and they're pumping money into it. Now, here we have an article from China Daily discussing the Shanghai Research uh, Blockchain Institute, which is the Conflux Network and their involvement in the metaverse. So here we go, guys, from the article, a Shanghai-based research house published an updated public blockchain service on Saturday, moving one step closer to the city's goal of revolutionizing industries and better embracing the metaverse era. Shanghai TreeGraph Blockchain Research Institute on Saturday released the 2.0 version of Conflux, which it claimed to be among the top three third generation public blockchains worldwide. Compared with its previous version, this iteration has enhanced compatibility and efficiency on different blockchains, thus providing better facilitating development in the so-called metaverse and Web3 era. It is designed to empower industries such as virtual reality, augmented reality, online games, and artificial intelligence, said Long Fan, who is the founder of the TreeGraph Blockchain Research Institute. According to Long, 
because the metaverse is real time decentralized and has parts that can work together without being specifically instructed to do so it is easy to imagine how blockchain fits into the version for the metaverse into the vision for the metaverse all right guys i will link this in the description as well but basically china is going big into the metaverse the complex network is deeply embedded with state-backed entities in china and is one of the leading candidates to be a major blockchain in the metaverse for china and asia and the world going forward that's why i'm making this video today guys because the cfx token is the native token of the complex network currently they're trading with a 177 million dollar market cap they have been as high as a couple of billion uh before the bear market but I look to them to get back in the driver's seat and do really well as we move into the next bull cycle whenever that day does come. Now, guys, earlier I mentioned the grant program. So the Complex Network is an awesome blockchain, but we need talented artists and developers to bring their skills and visions to the Complex Network. Now, I have a link to the grant committee forum. I'm going to put it in the description. This can tell you about the tier one, tier two, and tier three grant programs for artists and developers. Now, these are grants that can give you funding to execute your vision that you do not have to pay back. Of course, it's not guaranteed you have to apply for it, but assuming you get approved, you can actually begin getting the financial support you might need from the Complex Network to take your art to the blockchain or to build that blockchain program you've been thinking about but didn't know which uh, protocol to launch on if you're interested in this grant program leave a comment below or send me an email i can get you set up i can get you in touch with who you need to talk to i'm actually a member of the complex network grant committee in full disclosure lastly guys some a bit of a fun news before we end the video there is a new decentralized exchange coming to the complex network it is going to be called swappy they just went live on twitter at swappy dex and they look like a really fun program and the complex network does need things like additional decentralized exchanges and nft marketplaces before it really gets mass adopted at the retail level all right guys i hope you liked the video if you haven't done it already please subscribe tap that bell and we'll catch you on the next one